welcome, Dutchie. Oh, hello. Hi, Tim. How are you? Doing well. It's it's good to hear your voice again. We were hoping to see you at our conference, but you have more pressing things going on. Uh, where are you well, exactly? I'm actually in Albany, Western Australia. And I was really excited when you said you would pay my way in a hotel room. Sorry, that didn't come to pass. Well, I guess there are limits to our generosity and you didn't <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> you said you said it in good humor so uh, we'll take it at that is amazing the bold colors that you have and that sense of action and presence of your uh, characters in those paintings can you tell a little bit about how you developed that personal style yeah. um, i'm not sure how i developed it it just seemed to be in my brain uh, my daughter gave me paints in 1999 for Christmas, and at first I painted anything that came to mind. Uh, I would uh, people would ask me if they'd love a piece, and I would give it to them free, delighted, just delighted that they wanted my work on their wall. A friend said to me, "Don't give your work away; charge for it." So I gave my first, not my first painting, but I gave a picture for a used deep freeze. And the deep freeze broke down in about two weeks, and she came back and wanted more pictures. So I charged her $50. And when she gave me $50, I thought, geez, I'm a real painter here. I'm a real painter. I'm getting paid for my work. So then I started being asked to donate my pictures to um, different, um, different community activities to raise money. And I gave to the hospital fund, et cetera. And people were paying up to three and four thousand dollars in auction for my work. God, I was in awe. My ego got such a huge lift. And I started asking them for, oh, I'm embarrassed to say, four thousand dollars, and they gave it willingly. So I painted probably thirty or forty pictures for four thousand dollars of the North and of the Homestead series. And um uh, I continued painting doing that. I finally sold two for $7,500, which blew me away. I was so excited. I continued to accept their money, but every time I did, I was embarrassed. It seemed to me that I was overcharging, but people kept insisting, so who am I? Anyway, um, I painted three themes, basically. Started with the theme of up north. The, the drifting snow, the bright colors of the clothes, the sky. Then I went into the Homestead series, and that just went wild. My imagination, I never painted from pictures. I just painted a picture from my brain, from my memory. I call that book sort of a memory book, because every picture in that book is of a memory of my time as a kid on the Homestead. And then fate interfered, and our son was diagnosed with terminal cancer. So I quit painting for about two years. I just didn't have any creative juices in me. It was, um, it was just, needless to say, a really tough time. But after about a year, after Andy died, I didn't like living in this world without joy. So I started to find joy again, and I worked really, really hard at it. And it was during this period that the idea of putting together pictures and stories for my book called Memories of a Homesteader's Daughter. That was so easy to do, and it was so good for me. Recently, I set up my eagle. My friend from Australia visited me in January, and he set up my eagle, my easel, and I decided I would start to paint again. Then I came over to Australia in July. I will return home in uh, January. And I will start to paint again. Um, until that time comes, I'm here in Australia with this lovely man I met in my travels for, for three years ago. And I'm anxious to get to work again. I can't tell you how many staff meetings I sat around and painted, drew pictures of people's faces just to get through it. Um, and I always did scribble and draw. One time my uh, grade four teachers 
uh, my daughter's grade four teacher said to me, your daughter writes on her hands. And I quickly sat on mine because I had pictures all over my hands. So it was always there. I just never knew it and I never took time for it. Well, we're so glad that you did take the time and we're so glad that you shared your wonderful artwork with us. Dachi, it gives me great pleasure to tell you that the committee has made their decision and they have awarded the Postscript Excellence Award for Best Photograph or Art to you for your collection, Wild Roses. <laughs> Wonderful. That is so great. That's better than $4,000. Jeez, that's great. I am so delighted. Well, we're so, we're so uh, pleased to share your artwork with your colleagues and all 17,000 readers of Postscript have had a chance to enjoy your beautiful artwork. So thank you from all of them. You know, I've had, oh, just a little postscript there. I've had several phone calls from folks and I have uh, sold more books, sold more prints, um, got, got an offer for a commission waiting for me when I get home, all from the, from the uh, work that you showed in your magazine. So you've done me a wonderful favor as well. Well, I, I think it's a, a good relationship. We appreciate your participation in our magazine and and your work uh, showing how you can thrive as a retiree in your creative life as well. You know, you get through all the you get through all the stumbles, and you find your way back. Yeah. And uh, right now, I found my way back, and I'm delighted. Mm-hmm.